Okay. Hey, uh, Tech Report uh, readers, uh, welcome to our load demonstration here. Uh, today we're showing you the uh, two systems. We're showing um, on the left an Intel i7 based system, and on the right we're showing uh, an alpha level AMD Trinity. So as you know, Trinity is your next generation APU, and uh, as you can see today, it's uh, relatively good shape. So we're going to give you a quick uh, demonstration of Trinity and the competitive platform uh, running uh, Deus, Deus Ex. I'll never be able to pronounce that properly, but, uh, but that's fine. Uh, what you're going to show here is uh, on the left you're actually seeing the Sandy Bridge based i7 running on VX9 code path. You can see it's stuttering right now. And on the right you can see our alpha level Trinity with alpha level um, drivers running a VX11 code path and as you can see it's running nice and smooth. What we're trying to do here is just demonstrate the health of our silicon. Uh, we're very excited uh, with Trinity. Uh, Trinity is the successor to Lino. Uh, and what we expect from Trinity is that it'll improve on all three metrics, um, that's CPU performance, uh, GPU performance, and also uh, video performance and quality. Um, so it's going to improve along all the three vectors. Um, the other thing we wanted to show you here is that, uh, quite honestly, even though it's alpha level hardware, it's actually capable of running a modern game. Uh, without any problems. Uh, Chris, why don't you show them the control panel? Certainly. Uh, just show them briefly what the settings are. Because we've known Scott for a long time, we're going to share with him the, one of the code names for uh, uh, the, the GPU core in Trinity. It's called Devastator. <laughs> Um, so you can extrapolate from that what you will, and uh, we'll give you another hint, this is the bonus one, uh, we have another core called Scrapper. So you can clearly see that we can, uh, we have the checkbox for the DX11, uh, and both of these machines are running in the same uh, settings. So DX11, as you can see on the Intel, is not uh, enabled because it's not possible. And it is enabled on our system. You know, we've heard reports of our competitors claiming that uh, they're going to run lots of games. Um, we run every game. And because DX11 is not enabled, um, we're not actually able to choose the highest uh, anti-aliasing mode available. Uh, the highest it goes is uh, FXAAI, but on our system, uh, you're able to go up to MLAA. You also notice there that there's a tessellation checkbox because it's the X11 and that's a core DX11 feature. That's it. Cool. Thank you.